Hello, everyone. Jackie here from Jackie's Craft Table. I hope your new year is off to a wonderful start. This is my first video of the new year and also my first video as a member of the Not Too Shabby Design Team. And I'm super excited to be working with some fabulous and creative ladies. This cute pink envelope contains a few products that I picked up at the Not Too Shabby Shop. It also contains my design team stamp for the month, but I pulled that out because I'm going to be using that in my next video. I'm going to start out by showing you this cute stud puffin stamp set. I got this for free with a purchase of $60. I really love this stamp from My Favorite Things. It says, here's a huge hug. I really love the Pure Innocence stamps from MFT. And this one's called You're My Person, and I got the coordinating die. I just love these little girls. So cute. And then I picked up a few things from Lan Fawn's latest Valentine's Day release. I just couldn't resist the cute typewriter and then this little mouse sitting in front of the typewriter. That totally sold me on these. And then all of the darling sentiments. And then, of course, I had to get the coordinating love poems set and dies. I'm going to be using these two stamp sets for my card projects today. Also, check out the description below and over at my blog. I have a coupon code for 10% off your order at the Not Too Shabby Shop. I'll also include the links to the Not Too Shabby Shop, as well as links to all of the products that I use in this video. So let's get started with our first project, and I'm going to use the You're Just My Type stamp set first. I pulled out my mini Misty so that I can stamp up a bunch of images at the same time. And I have to use this cute little desk and the typewriter. And I'm also going to stamp out the mouse and the lamp. I'm arranging them on a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. I'm going to ink up my images with some black dye ink from MFT, and it's called Extreme Black Ink. But I'm not going to stamp out that little piece of paper at the top right. I'm going to show you what I'll do with that in just a minute. But since these are new stamps, I like to ink them up a few times just to get my lines nice and black. So the card I'm creating with this stamp set is going to be a fun interactive card, and I don't usually make those, but I just had to with this one. Let me speed up my stamping here so we can get to the next step. So I haven't inked up the square piece of paper that you see at the top yet. I'm going to mask one of the edges with a piece of sticky note paper. This is the full back sticky note. I love these. So I'm going to ink it up and then I can pull off the sticky note. I didn't want to stamp out the bottom line to this paper. So I'm using a micron pen to elongate this piece of paper. I'm just using a ruler to get a straight edge. And this is going to be the interactive bit to my card. So I'm just trying to line that up as best as I can. I allowed the ink to dry for a few minutes just because I did stamp it up so many times. And then I can do my Copic coloring. I will have all of the colors that I use listed over at my blog. But I'm going to color this mouse in so he's a little gray mouse. The desk is going to be a metallic gray, as well as the typewriter. And then I'm going to add some highlights with my teal markers. I haven't used my Copic markers in a while. I seem to go in streaks with my art mediums. I've been on a long kick of colored pencils, and now all I want to play with is my Copic markers. Do you guys go in streaks like that with your art mediums? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your responses on that one. I'm sorry I'm turning this piece of paper so much in this video. But the pieces to this desk were kind of narrow, and it helped to turn the paper in different directions to get into these tight places. Also this year, I've been doing a lot of organizing in my craft room. And it's not a craft room per se. It's just my dining room. I have a nice big table there. But I'm going to be moving my craft supplies to the second floor in my house. It'll be nice to be able to use the dining room again for eating, <laughs> not just crafting. 
but I'm still not going to have an enclosed space. I'm just going to take everything up to the loft in my house on my second floor. Now that my coloring is done, I'm going to use the coordinating dies to cut these out. I love coordinating dies. They just make life so easy. I don't usually get them, but for this one, I wanted the coordinating dies. There are a lot of steps to this card. So my next step is I'm going to stamp out more of the blank pages. And these are going to be little notes that the mouse has strewn on the floor of his office. And I'm going to stamp some cute sentiments in these little pages. They give you so many to choose from. It's just fun. All of them are so darling. And I'm just pulling out some of the sentiments that I want to use. For this step, I'm using some, let's see, what's it called? Versifying Onyx Black ink. Because this is the type of ink that I don't have to restamp. It's just so nice and thick and black. But I don't use it with my Copic markers because it does tend to smear for me. So I don't use it with my Copics. And now for this long piece of paper, I'm going to be stamping out the sentiment that says, roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. And I'm just spacing this out a little bit because it's going to be behind the typewriter. And then when you pull it up, you can see the full poem. And then I'm just going to fussy cut this out with a pair of long, sharp scissors. Very easy to do. So this kit uh, includes a little teeny die that you see there. And it cuts out a slot where you can put your paper. And see, that just fits perfectly inside. And now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put a stopper at the edge of this paper so that you can't pull the poem completely out of the card. I'm just putting a piece of scrap paper underneath so I don't accidentally glue it to my teal paper. I also put some tracks down with this foam tape. This will keep my piece of paper in place. And then I can attach that to a white card base. And there you see it just slides easily. I'm going to glue down my little typewriter. And then just the top part of the desk, because I'm going to be putting notes under the legs of the desk. And I'm also going to use some more liquid adhesive to glue down this lamp. Just gluing all of these things down flat. That looks so cute. And then, of course, the darling little mouse in front of the typewriter. For all of these little notes scattered on the floor, I used my craft pick just to curve up the edges a little bit to give it more interest. And I'm adhering those down at the bottom of my card. Some of the details I'm coloring in with this pink Copic marker. And they just look like notes that he discarded on the floor and didn't want to use until he found the perfect note that has that cute little poem in it. This set also comes with these teeny tiny little hearts, and I just cut them out with some red cardstock. I'm also going to be using a sentiment from the Love Poems stamp set. It says, just a little note to say, dot, dot, dot. And I'm stamping it on the same red cardstock that I used for the hearts. I'm using my anti-static powder first because I am going to heat emboss this sentiment with some white embossing powder. And I'm using my Hero Arts embossing ink. I just love this stuff. And now I can pour on my alabaster white embossing powder. This is from Brutus Monroe. I'll melt that with my heat tool. It melts really fast, especially when you preheat your heat tool. And I am actually going to ink it up one more time. I just wanted it nice and solid. 
pour on more embossing powder and melt that. Just makes it look a little bit more puffy. I like the effect. And now I can fussy cut out my sentiment. I kind of wish that it had the banner dies included in the die set, but it wasn't too hard to fussy cut. It's nice and curved. I really liked that sentiment. And I'm going to fishtail both of the ends. I'm adhering that down flat at the top of my card. It just needed something more up at the top there. There's also a little stamp in the set that says pull here, and I inked that up and cut it out. I'm just going to glue that to the top of this poem page, just so they know that it's interactive and they can pull that poem up. There it is. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Such a fun card to put together and very easy. On the inside, I used some more of the red cardstock and I stamped the X's and O's stamp on it. And I used another little note and heart. On my next card project, I already pre stamped some of the typewriters from the stamp set. And I'm using different colors of ink to stamp the sentiments this time, just using some washi tape to hold this in place so it doesn't shift because I do want the ink to be nice and dark, so I stamp it several times. I'll be coloring in these typewriters with Copic markers again, but I chose colors that kind of matched the ink that I used to stamp out the little sentiments. These typewriters were pretty fast to color in, just using another gray marker to put down behind the keys. And then I'll use different colors to color in the keys as well as the other bits of the typewriter. I can't remember what they're called. It's been so long since I've used a manual typewriter. My son Jack just loves typewriters. He got an old one that used to belong to his grandfather, and he loves typing away on that thing. <laughs> it's actually very good for him because he's at the age where he's learning how to read, and he can sit and type out these little notes for everyone. I used more Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock for these little typewriters. And now to put this card together, I'm using a piece of gray fog cardstock and I adhered that down onto a white card base. I also cut out a frame. This is from MFT. It's just called a rectangle cover up die. And I cut that out with a darker gray cardstock. I also cut out several rectangles with different colors of cardstock, and I'm just using some liquid adhesive to glue those in place. I love the little stitched details on these rectangles. And I'm going to use some foam squares to prop up my typewriters on this card. It just adds some cute dimension to this card. I also end up gluing down a few shiny silver sequins across this card. It added a fun touch of sparkle. And I also decorated the inside of the card with more cardstock and hearts. And the sentiment says, have a mice day. These images are so stinking cute. I just love them. Thank you for watching, my crafty friends. And again, go check out the 10% coupon code below for the not too shabby shop. You'll find a lot of fabulous products there. I hope you're all having fun making some Valentine's Day cards this month. I'll be back with my second design team card for January very soon. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.